Hey guys, welcome to The Hunter. So, as you saw, or you may or may not have seen already, I posted a little video last night. Uh, I'm going to do this one. I don't know how it happened, but pretty much I've lost any kind of lead on farming some videos that I had. I usually do them in a day in a head, so I'm going to have to get back on top of that tonight. I'll record a farm sim video, so you'll have that for... Wednesday, um, and then I fly out back to the UK on Thursday, so there will be no video Thursday, and there will probably not be a video Friday, because I fly, I actually, I leave Thursday, I get back into the UK on Friday, early morning, I'm going to be wiped, I'll sleep most of Friday, um, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll see if I can get one out for a weekend, a video, don't hold your breath, I am not promising anything. Normal video should resume the first full week back in the UK. So, The Hunter. I'm going to start off because I've seen this a lot in um, the multiplayer games I've hosted and played. But people get this game because they think it's they see it's free. But you can't really do much unless you buy into the membership. Like I said in yesterday's video, I got the 12 month membership. And I've not looked back. It wasn't exactly cheap, it's probably about roughly what you'd spend, or just under what you'd spend for a full retail game. So I've got it for a year. Um, I've not played it a lot, but I have been playing it a lot the last couple of days, I've got back into it, especially after finding the multiplayer. Reminds me very much of uh, Deer Hunter 2005 or whatever it's called, I can't remember. I used to play that game a lot. And there was actually multiplayer servers up for that. Then one day I went to go on it and they had died. <laughs> so no more. It's a shame. So really to play this game properly, you need a membership. You can buy each individual license to hunt each different animal in the game. It ain't worth that. It really isn't. Because then you still need to buy your ammunition for your guns and buy different guns. The membership gives you some guns. The 12 month one gives you quite a selection of guns. And sort of the stock ammo you would get for that type of gun. It always replenishes itself. So you don't need to spend your money on that. That's another reason why I went for that. I got the calls that I need. Again, that's a one-time deal. Calls. Some equipment is consumable, so you do use it. Is that what I'm looking for over there? But I don't use any of that. It's like they come out with face paint recently, and I was real excited. I thought that would be cool. It's got uses of four hours. <laughs> Game time or something. Like, what the hell? I've, up until probably the next, last couple of days, I've not played this for four hours straight. Well, this is time of me recording this, it's almost three o'clock. So, I'm going to try and get something for you. So far, I've got on this map, I started early morning. I've got a nice big buck, uh, a couple of turkeys. A massive hog. He was huge. Okay, it runs down here now. Getting close to the border. Also, I'm putting a video together. So sort of when I'm not recording videos like this and I'm just on this, is so sort of, I don't know what I'm going to title. Probably kill cam. It's already like a minute thirty-three. Just different kills of animals I've got. Uh, it's safe to say, I'll get the, rid of that in the bottom corner. I ain't no hunter in real life. I've never had the opportunity to hunt. The typical thing you hunt, duck. I've tried, I don't like. Deer, I've tried venison. I don't like. So, would I love to go hunting? Yes. But I would only go with what someone that would actually use the deer for a good use. I ain't someone that would go out and just kill an animal for the sake of it and not use it. I'd love to get a nice deer for you guys. Ooh, 
was sort of out cool, so that's my elk. Oh, I got a massive elk too. Oh, I wish you guys could have seen that. I didn't have the recorder going at the time. Or perhaps. So I didn't really watch the video back yesterday. I'm hoping the volume on that's good so you can hear me clearly. He was walking he slash she if it was a doe. I mean, just look at those graphics. Oh. He was walking across there, that'd be an awesome shot. And these are some cars that I use some of the in game currency that you kind of use your real money and gives yourself some tokens. Again, I'm on a multiplayer server, so I apologize if there's any language. It's quiet down because it is during the day, during the evening. Into the night, it gets a little more fouler. As the young kiddies come on, uh, sort of 10, 11 year olds thinking that they can run their mouths because their mummy and daddy aren't watching. Oh, to know if I knew their parents to send them a video of them doing all of that in chat. Used to see a lot on the Minecraft. You do it once in a while, I don't care. I guess it's obviously me hosting this. Do it too much, you get kicked. Like I explained last night's video. I ended up kicking someone and he went by the name of Tyler. Tried adding me as a friend also, probably before that. Before I kicked him. But. Remind me very much of someone that used to play on the Minecraft server, where he was acting. Uh, Another thing some people that are new to the game don't seem to get the aspect of hunting is it's not catching. You gotta sit around and you gotta wait. It's kinda relaxing. It's not a fast paced game, although it can be as. Oh, 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 where are you? Where are you? That was a bleat, so I can almost guarantee this is going to be a female if it's a grunt. So I can respond back with a grunt. So the does aren't really worth anything. Obviously, real life. Meat. And also, I find the game's good, but sometimes it can be too good in graphics where. The animals camouflage themselves and they can almost be on top of you. There it is, there. I think I saw it. Oh, maybe not, maybe he's been leaves. Ah, oh, he got a nice book. Small book. And sometimes the deer can just be pretty much on top of you before you can see him. That sounded like that was a buck. Oh, we may swap targets. Unless we see the doe. Just gonna take a shot on a uh, turkey earlier on today, but a white-tailed doe decided to walk across. Got a little close, and of course they're more sensitive than a turkey, and spooked both female and male turkey. Kind of a little pissed. Could have taken the dough, but didn't want to scare the male turkey, because after that at the time. But for me, when I'm hunting, it's, if I hear a call or find a trail, I'll chase after it. I'm not one to really set off in a game and one animal, one animal only. So I'm crouched right now, if I stood up... Yeah, that's a female, and she's close.
So you can see where the rings are. She's just in there somewhere. It's like cold, right? So she's looking for the deer. They called. Oh, there she is. Yep, that. So we're just gonna slowly walk away so she doesn't get spooked and come back up here. We heard the grunts of the male deer up around this location. So. I'm hoping he tracks his way down and I get another nice buck. So I'm hoping you guys will kind of warm to this. This isn't going to take over Farmerson, don't worry. And it also won't take over the series I'm doing on Farmerson. Right now. But this is a game where I really like it, and I love hunting games. I always have. Going way, way back, I thought it was something. Dad got me Duck Hunter, whatever it was called, and Grand Slam Turkey Hunter, back on Windows 98. Just to name a few. I've always loved those type of games. And then you got. It's been quiet, you got the Cabela games, but they're mission related, and you can't go free roam. I love games where it's free roam. If I want to be on one side of the map, I can be. I don't have to be stuck to this. Crap, something just spooked. Don't have to be stuck to this trail. I like the Cabela games. Very scripted too. Oh, he's just over there, wasn't he? God damn. Oh, that could have been the female world chasing. Straight away we got a call. Because we spotted her, that's the only reason we know she's female. We're gonna go down and make a kill, and then move on. I don't know how long this video's been going. Usually set my time back a bit if God started. And each time you sort of track them, you'll see the circle there, so it means they're in the vicinity. If it's dotted, so you got your dots and your lines or go and get in a circle. I believe it means sort of a period of time has gone by but they're still probably in this area. Kind of the funnel you see I'm following is roughly where they would have gone anywhere in between that. It's very hit and miss sometimes though. You know she was in here because I was up there. Just in case of finding her in there. Maybe if we try. Oh, look at that buck. Look at that buck that's just come over. <laughs> Good night, Vienna, for you, my friend. And as simple as that. Space bar holds your breath. You can usually get it stable pretty quick. Sometimes you'll screw a shot. I've done it a few times, unfortunately. And just look at the way he he heard the call and he peeked over. So this is blood. Where the frick did he slide? Oh, he's probably there. No. Oh. Okay, he ran. So 
so now I've got to struggle finding it. See how tight the circle is there? He wouldn't have gone far because it was hard lines. Where is the price even bolted? Yeah, there. It looked like it just went straight down. Oh, this is not going to be fun. I've never had one like that that had fallen clean shot like that, heart and lungs. And then to go down like that. This is going to take some time to... Find. It's not exactly the most easiest location to find, either. Way. I made the call, poked it its here, poked its head, got it in the heart and lungs, and bang, it looked like it fell down. Could have slid that in, maybe. I don't get how people do that, knocked out. The result of slight disagreement with gravity. I don't know if that's why they've been attacked by an animal or something. I do wonder if that could be the case. I'm pretty sure I actually almost got attacked earlier by a bear. So we're just walking and all of a sudden I heard the grunt and growl and pulled the shotgun out. I am at a loss. I really am. This is what I mean by the cone. We were directly in front of them, we didn't see him run towards us. That's a deer, but not the one. Pause the video and come back and see. Where the hell it went? Did it slide or did it fall or did it run? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna pause the video. Uh, this may not be great because I'm gonna have to pause my Audacity too. That'd be the first time I've ever had to actually splice two clips like that together, so bear with me and I shall return. Okay, guys, um, from what I found in the video, he did definitely fall straight to the ground. So 
It looked like he fell straight from where he was and slid. But there he is there. How many times did we walk past him? See, thank God I was recording, eh? Uh, so I looked and this video is around 22 minutes long, so... About 20 minutes long, so we're all good here. Um, I'm wrap this up by grabbing the dip. So we took out... It first of all, entered into his shoulder. So my thing said roughly it was... Lungs. It wasn't, by the looks of it. Went through its heart, that would have killed it straight there and then. This is its lungs, so it would have killed it then, as well. So it obviously entered from up here, and down. Some type of magic went around here. Uh, also it's liver. Yep, liver, stomach, and intestine. Obviously the skull, then you've got the different... I'm guessing this could be its brain, or different vertebrae. And that's the main kill points. But you want to aim up in here, so just above the shoulder. Lungs or heart. Um, or up from, from the front, what I was aiming for is just around here, where that little tuft of hair is. So we'll take our shot. If you go my profile on um, the hunter, link will be in the description for joining up if you guys aren't, if you really like the look of the game. The light is kind of crappy, but I'm going to place my dude here. There is no third person in this game, by the way. Got a nice set of antlers too. Smile for the camera. Yeah, I screwed that one up. I meant to get the rifle up with the shotgun. That's a bit of posing me. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I really want to bring you more content, so let me know in the comments. Um, I may check up a quick video tonight, him out of my phone, saying, do you guys want to see this type of content? Um, you're going to see this regardless. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, go check it out. Like I said, there's going to be a little different video in the mix with all the different kill cams. Probably end up taking this little bit and render it separately as well, and intermingling it into there too. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for hopefully a farm sim video. I'll probably record one tonight, so I've got one for tomorrow. Catch you guys later.